How's it going everybody? Welcome back. I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and today autopilot is designed for the highway. It's not really designed for these side roads that I use it on all the time because I want to test it and make it better. It's really designed for out there on the highway. So let's get out there and test and see what version 9 is like on the highway. Is it better than before? Is it learning? Is it dangerous? We'll find out today. Come on, let's go. All right, so we are on the highway on autopilot. I wanna show you how all these cars show up. All the cars show up on the screen here. Hopefully you can see that, it's not too glaring. Turn, automatic turn signal works just fine. It'll speed up. And of course, on the Model S, you actually have to turn off this, the turn signal. On the Model 3, it actually does it for you. I'm gonna step down the speed a little bit. Don't wanna to go too fast, especially on YouTube, because. There's a lot of complainers out there. Not you, you're not, but there's a lot of them out there. So I've got my hand on the wheel, just in case, because you know you don't really want to, this is, version nine is not something you can trust, although it is a lot better than what it was Saturday. It is now Tuesday. We're in a construction zone. There's lines all over the road. It's bumpy through here. Sorry for the shaky camera, but this road sucks. But I gotta say, it is actually doing a whole lot better I'm getting off at this exit. We're gonna see how well it takes the exit. This is a short exit. We are following a truck, which is good, which will help out. Some gravel there. In 0.2 miles, turn left onto Lightning Road. if we can Road. change lanes too. Oh, look at this. You can change lanes on a turn on an exit ramp. Now turn left onto Lightning Road. That's pretty slick, although it won't stop for this. That's pretty slick. You were able to, it was able to see all the lines on the exit. So we were able to change lanes, although it's not ready to see stop lights or stop signs or anything like that. I think it sees them. It's just not uh, using them as data. That's pretty cool. That was pretty slick. All right, we're back on the highway. Now we're in some really heavy congestion on the highway here on 77. It's in construction. It's really stop and go driving. I'm going to have my hand on the wheel. I'm going to have the, the screen down below so you can see the whole time. Uh, what the car sees and you know how it reacts uh, So far on the highway. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. It's actually learned quite a bit from Saturday It's not scary as much. Uh, I haven't been too much on the highway. There's a car cut in front of us right now Nice BMW didn't use his turn signal imagine that BMWs, I don't think they have turn signals. I'm not positive on that Leave it in the comments if you know if turns if BMWs have turn signal. That's a joke. Don't get mad but you can see there's a car right on my in my blind spot and the car and the, on the screen it shows the car there there's an, it's another bmw so you got to be careful they like to turn in different lanes without warning it's staying pretty stable it actually slows down a lot here because of the lake this is lake norman and a lot of people like to look out over the lake while they drive and it slows down if you have autopilot, you can do that, but you can't do that without autopilot. I'm gonna let this sit here and film so you can see how well it actually, how well it does. The two cars pulled off the let off the uh, ramp there. And it's going to speed up to this truck. It didn't show a car on the side of the road there because it was stationary, not moving. It just gave a half moon, like a caution thing. It's, it's very accurate on if the, someone's in your blind spot, if you have room to turn, if you have room to change lanes. And we're gonna try that again here. I did that on the non-highway. We're gonna do it on the highway here. So there's some cars there. 
I'm actually going to put the turn signal on. Those cars are flying by. And it's not moving. And that's good. It actually didn't move over because those cars were moving pretty fast. And it's actually good that it didn't move over and try to squeeze in there. Once we get moving a little bit and even with those cars, I'm gonna try that again and see if it gives us that red line on the highway. So there's a car there, we're gonna move over. Finally allows me. Worked like it's supposed to. Didn't give me a red line though when the car was there. There's a car here. I'm gonna see if it'll let me over. It slows way down and then gets over in the lane. Very nice, very nice. It sees that lane over here, but that actually that lane is actually closing. There's no one else next to me, so I really can't change lanes anymore. But this is actually rock solid. Now, I'm gonna turn off. And now I just turned on autopilot and I'm gonna leave my hand off the wheel, but close, to see how, how long the nags take. And I'm gonna time it on the, on the camera and then we'll try a few more. See if the nags have changed at all. I'm not going to touch anything, so I'm not going to cancel anything out any weird ways. I'm just going to change the volume up and down to once the nag actually shows up. All right, there it goes. I reset it. It's actually very smooth now. You know, I was complaining in yesterday's video and the day before how shaky it was, but I mean, it's really designed for the highway. Autopilot is really for the highway use right now. Uh, it's working towards the side roads. There it goes again. Let's try another one. So it's this is what it's this is what it's made for. Eventually, it's going to be for all the roads. But right now, I mean, just like Cadillac is just for certain highways. Very, very, very few highways actually. And it uses a camera to see your face to make sure you're paying attention. The car uses your hand, letting it know that you're paying attention. So it's a little different, but. Uh, it can be used anywhere as you see. See if this changes anything. Nope, it, it took this just fine. Now this slows down again. Whoa, there's a bug. Bug report, slowed down when it shouldn't. So I did a bug report. That slowed way down when it shouldn't have. And that's what you wanna do. When, this is when you're out testing the car, you actually give those uh, feedback to them so they can actually fix those issues for you. I'm gonna stop doing the nag thing because uh, we've got enough data on the nags. We can figure out what if there's any change to those nags or not. But you know, just keeping your hand on the wheel, it's gonna keep the nags from popping up. Uh, it, it does really well with that. We're on 77 heading south. There's an interchange to go to 485. Um, it's kind of the way you go to the uh, Tesla dealership. We're going to take that, uh, and before an autopilot, it would take it just fine. You can put the turn signal on, it'll move over, and it'll actually slow down for, or for the exit. So we're going to see if it does it better, worse, or not at all. I keep forgetting about the turn signal on this car. You always have to turn it off. So hopefully this gives you an idea how well autopilot is doing now. There's, there's a lot of talk of how bad it is. Ooh, this is going to be good. Let's see if it slows down for all these cars. Wow, slowed down just fine. <clears throat> slowed down just fine. It wasn't a hard slowdown. It wasn't jamming on the brakes or anything. That actually did a very good job. So I'm going to put the turn signal on when he's in my blind spot see if it speeds up it actually hit the brakes and kind of lunged forward that wasn't super uh, 
that wasn't super smooth, but it actually worked. It didn't know if it wanted to slow down to get behind the truck or speed up to get in front of the truck. We were going under the speed limit, so it chose to speed up after it lunged and then hit the brakes. So this is our exit. We're gonna wait for the line to show up and then turn signal over. This lane splits and we're gonna end up going left over the bridge. I am gonna have my hand on the wheel, of course, like always. So it's starting to slow down. down before to 65 on this as well. Actually maybe 60 before, I'm not positive. Let's see if it speeds back up to 70 on the highway once we get off of this exit. It hasn't changed yet. Oh there it goes. There we go, that was actually pretty nice. I was able to take that exit nice and smooth, slow down, just like before. I don't see any issues. I think it is learning very, very fast. I'm very pleased with autopilot, how quickly it has learned and how quickly it has changed in just a short period of time. Uh, we, got the, we got the update Saturday and it's now Tuesday. And yeah, I've driven a little bit, but not a whole lot. And it, it's just done really well. I mean, this is really the first time I've taken on the highway. And I really wanted to do that before my wife really drove it to, to work. Uh, it's just a little squirrely on the side roads, which is expected because it's not really made for the side roads yet. It's really fine-tuned for the highway here, not really for the side roads. I know this is a long video, but this is for the people that want to see exactly how well Autopilot's doing. We've got an exit coming up. It's really close to the supercharger. I'm going to hit the supercharger in Charlotte here. Maybe I'll see Maybe I'll see one of you guys there. I'm going to see if it'll take that exit. Uh, it's, uh, it's done that before and uh, slowed down perfectly for it. Uh, that's a shorter exit instead of a long sweeping exit to get on to uh, 485. We're going to see how well that takes that one. There it is. We're going to turn. Very nice. And because we're going to turn right up here. There it goes. It's not really slowing down too good. There it goes. It's slowing down. See if this pops up. Perfect. Change over. Oh, it's not doing it. It wouldn't take a, it, it was going too fast. It wouldn't take that other right again, but that's fine. I mean, that's, that's really good. It, it was going a little, a little hot through there, but um, not too bad at all. You know, that's going to be one of those where the drive by nav, it's going to want you to take over uh, right then too. It's going to let you know. It's going to say take over because it's from on ramp to off ramp, but that was already the off ramp. So we would have taken over at that point. I hope you enjoyed this view of how autopilot is on the highway. It's actually really, it's actually a lot better than what I thought it was going to be uh, based off of what it does on the side roads. I'm glad I drove this and I'm glad I did the test because now I feel a little safer that my wife's going to be driving this to Charlotte. I'm not, I feel like it's not fully done yet. There's still room for improvement and it, that'll take time, but it's really solid. Uh, on the highway and that's what you should you guys should be using it for you know i test it and i tell you i test it and i put it to the extremes on the side roads but i want to make it better i want to get that data out there for tesla's network so every car is better not just mine if you like this video and you want an autopilot in your car use my referral code and buy your own tesla that's the best way to do it enjoy the videos now but use the code and get your own tesla and make your life better it enriches your life it actually makes you think better you'll end up making more money have more friends better relationships your enemies will leave you alone your boss will be envious unless you're the boss but the point is enjoy enjoy your own tesla be part of the family be part of the tesla family the community it's a kind of like a cult but we're a good cult and it is just amazing how nice people are in this giant family. We don't have one giant reunion, but we have reunions all over the place at Cars and Coffee, Drive Electric Weeks, 
online, and almost anywhere. So any supercharger, if it was actually nice outside, I bet you someone would be standing there. We'd, we'd open up a conversation. So it's an awesome community. Use my referral code, get your Tesla, whatever it is. Any new Tesla gets $100 towards supercharging. It helps you out, it helps me out. Helps us get closer to that Roadster. We're getting closer and closer every single day. I wanna thank you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll catch you on the next one.